hello from slide nerd and hello from weaves what's up folks in the last video i was talking about what are objects in java in this video i'm going to talk about what are classes now you probably read big books about this and you always wondered what they actually did what they actually meant in this video everything will be clear right in front of you in the last video we guys have been discussing about these two things as objects that is you and your friend so let's again talk about that what properties do you have and what actions do you perform properties are nothing but nouns and actions are nothing but verbs so here you can say something like this by looking at this picture you can probably say hair color is brown eye color is black skin color is white tanned whatever shirt is orange weight is something like 70 70 kg or something like that now i'm talking about a real person so these are the properties that i have considered now remember there may be a lot more properties but these are only few of them that i've taken into account right now and what actions does uh, this person perform or you can say what actions do you perform well you eat sleep walk run party and you can do many other things but here i've just taken five of them into the picture right the same way your friend also has certain properties and certain actions now what is the difference between you and your friend if you notice very clearly the difference between you and your friend lies in the values of the different properties right now again the way you eat may be different from what how your friend eats right for example you may be eating with your hands your friend may be eating with his fork or spoon or whatever now remember that is not necessary but there is a possibility remember object oriented programming is all about considering the different possibilities and how they affect your program all right so here i have shown you two different objects if you take many different objects of type human being you will notice that they all probably have similar properties and they have different values for each of those properties so the question is what is a class then very simple a class is nothing but the common property names and the common action names that you see over here what do i mean by that these values hair color eye color skin color shirt weight and these actions eat sleep walk run party this is what is actually a class pretty simple right it is nothing but the property names itself of different objects out there a class is the representation of the common properties and the functions of an object so for example if you say something like int x equals to 25 25 is the value x is the name of the variable and int is the type right if you say person u then u is the name of the object and person is the class in other words class is nothing but the type of an object now if you guys are a bit uncomfortable with this don't worry too much as we discuss more examples this will be very very clear to you right all right so once again let's try to identify the class out of two mobile phones that we have here one is the samsung galaxy s4 and the other is the iphone so what properties does your s4 have and what actions does your s4 perform ask yourself these two questions so for example you can have something like this width is 6.98 height is 13.6 os is android brand is samsung price is thousand and probably there are many other properties which i have not taken into account here just to show you guys i have taken five of them what actions does your s4 perform well very simple right call send message browse run apps share and there are probably many other actions that your s4 performs which i have not taken into the picture here now if you focus on your iphone again you will notice that the iphone also has certain properties and it also performs certain actions again i have taken the common properties here on both sides width height os brand price and then again the actions call send message browse blah 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 right so from these two objects what do you notice you notice that there are certain set of properties which are common for both your iphone and your samsung galaxy s4 and then you have the values which are different for both of them right so the question is what is a class very simple the class is the list of common property names between both your objects so here you have width height os brand price these are the common properties that apply to any mobile phone and these are the actions that most mobile phones are expected to perform which is called send message browse run app share and this is what a class is you say class phone properties inside them the actions inside them right pretty simple 
so i hope you guys have understood something about what is a class in the next video i'm going to show you guys how to make classes and how to get things working in that beats if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day